the NHL isn't all about size and being physical. Don't get me wrong, there's still room for that in today's game, and being able to play a physical game is still significant come playoff time. But with all that being said, we're starting to see a lot more smaller, faster, skilled players make some noise around the league, and that is exactly what this video is going to be highlighting. Throughout the years, we've seen some smaller players thrive in the league, like Martin St. Louis or Theo Fleury, but it's becoming much more common in today's game. So here are the top six smallest NHL players right now. Yanni Gord, 5'9", 173 pounds. An absolute diamond in the rough, Yanni Gord had to wait a few years before he caught on in the NHL. After a prolific junior career in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, where he had an impressive 220 points through 199 games, Gord bounced around the AHL until the Tampa Bay Lightning signed him in 2014. After another three seasons flipping between the Syracuse Crunch and the Lightning, Gord finally played his first full 82-game season in the 2017-2018 NHL season, and what a season that was. He scored a career-high 25 goals and 64 points, and has never seen the AHL since. Since his breakout year, he recorded 84 goals and 210 points in 361 games played. Yanni Gord also helped the Lightning win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 2020 and 2021, where he joined Blake Coleman and Barkley Goudreau on arguably the best third line in the NHL at the time. Through those two cup runs, the trio scored 24 goals and 57 points and are one of the biggest reasons why the Lightning were referred to as a dynasty throughout all these years. Unfortunately for the Lightning, all three of those players are now playing for different teams. Yanni Gourd was selected by the Kraken in the 2021 Seattle Expansion Draft and is now one of their top centers and continues to shine in big moments as he was instrumental in the Kraken's extremely impressive playoff run this year. Jared Spurgeon, 5'9", 168 pounds. Jared Spurgeon is one of the smallest defensemen in the NHL in terms of height and weight. But even without the size of a traditional defenseman, Spurgeon has found his place in the league thanks to his impressive skating and puck movement. Drafted 156th overall in 2008 by the New York Islanders, Spurgeon signed with the Minnesota Wild in 2010 after the Islanders did not sign him. Since joining the Wild, Spurgeon has been a reliable defender that can be counted on to put up solid points. Spurgeon hit career highs in the 2018-2019 season with 14 goals, 29 assists, and 43 points. Since then, he has continued to pile on the points as he has 40 goals and 131 points in 260 games played. He is consistently among the top 20 defensemen in the league in goals, power play goals, block shots, and time on the ice. On top of that, he was also named captain of the Wild in the 2020-21 season, so it is clear that his impact is also felt in the dressing room as well. Cole Caulfield, 5'7", 166 pounds. Selected 15th overall by the Montreal Canadiens in the 2019 NHL Draft, Cole Caulfield has quickly become one of the best undersized players in the NHL today. Bursting onto the scene as a 20-year-old during the 2020-21 season, he scored 4 goals and 5 points in 10 games played, and then became a key forward for the Canadiens in their unexpected run to the Stanley Cup Finals, scoring 4 goals and 12 points in 20 games played. Going into the 2021-22 season, Caulfield was almost unanimously predicted to win the Calder Trophy as the NHL's top rookie based on his performance in the 2021 playoffs. Unfortunately, he got off to a really rough start and was eventually sent down to the AHL to gain some confidence and work out his game. It also didn't help that the Canadians as a team were off to a really bad start as well. So bad, in fact, that the head coach was fired and replaced by Hall of Famer Martin St. Louis. St. Louis getting hired by the Canadians was the best thing that could have ever happened for Caulfield. Under St. Louis' direction and leadership, he exploded to finish the season with 23 goals and 43 points in 67 games played. His performance was at such a high level that he got back into the conversation for the Calder Trophy, but he inevitably lost to Detroit Red Wings' Mo Sider. Going into the 2022-23 season, Habs fans hoped that Caulfield could continue where he left off and become that 50-goal scorer that a lot of people envisioned for him when he was drafted. While he didn't reach the 50-goal mark, he did have another strong season. 
Cole finished the 2022-23 season with 36 points in 46 games played. Mats Zuccarello, 5'8", 179 pounds. Matt Zuccarello started his professional hockey career in his home country of Norway. Then he spent some time playing in Sweden before signing with the New York Rangers as a free agent in 2010. Learning to adjust to the North American style, he started out playing with the Rangers in the AHL. In his NHL debut, Zuccarello scored a shootout goal for the Rangers. He played 42 games with them that season over multiple stints with the NHL club. Zuccarello returned to the Rangers in March of 2013 after joining the KHL during the lockout. In the 2013-2014 season, he emerged as a top player for the team, earning 59 points with 19 goals and 40 assists in 77 regular season games and was a key part of their Stanley Cup run that season. Since his breakout year, he has maintained his level of play with the Rangers, earning 352 points in 509 games played. He was then traded to the Dallas Stars, where he played just three regular seasons with them and 13 playoff games. In July of 2019, Zuccarello signed with the Minnesota Wild. Since joining the Wild, he has continued to be a consistent source of offense for the team. In four seasons, he has 72 goals and 218 points in 255 games played. Zuccarello had an unbelievable 2021-22 season, finishing with a career-high 79 points. Zuccarello is a key part of that wild offense, playing alongside Kevin Fiala, Kirill Kaprizov, Ryan Hartman, and Marcus Foligno. Without Kevin Fiala in the mix in the 2022-23 season, Zuccarello was expected to hit those numbers again, maybe even getting closer to the 30-35 goal mark. Between his skill, heart, and fearless play, Zuccarello has become a fan favorite and a three-time recipient of the Stephen McDonald Extra Effort Award. Brad Marchand 5'9", 181 pounds. Brad Marchand was drafted 71st overall by the Boston Bruins in 2006 and joined the team in 2008. He played a significant part in the Bruins' 2011 Stanley Cup win as he scored 19 points in 25 playoff games played during those playoffs. It's odd, but Marchand seems to get better and better every season, as he set career-high points in the 2018-29 season with 100. He collected 36 goals and 64 assists to hit the century mark for the first time in his career. He was again a huge part in the Bruins' playoff run that campaign, helping the team reach the Stanley Cup Finals and leading the playoffs in points with 23 before the team fell to the St. Louis Blues. Since that Stanley Cup loss, he has put up three more 20-goal seasons and has eclipsed the 60-point plateau three more times as well. In fact, he recorded his fifth 30-goal and 80-point season in the 2021-22 season when he finished with 32 goals and 80 points in 70 games played. Unfortunately for the Bruins, Marchand didn't suit up until December for the 2022-23 season as he was recovering from off-season hip surgery. Regardless, despite being undersized at 5'9", Marchand will definitely go down as a Bruins legend, a lethal goal scorer, and not to mention one of the biggest pests the NHL has ever seen. Johnny Goudreau, 5'9", 157 pounds. Throughout his hockey career, Johnny Goudreau has been doubted due to his appearance, but has consistently proven himself despite his small size. Before joining the Calgary Flames, who drafted Goudreau 104th overall in 2011, he played college hockey with the Boston College Eagles. In his sophomore year, he was named a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award. Although he did not win in 2013, he was awarded the Hobie Baker Award after his junior year. Goudreau joined the Flames after his junior year season ended with the Eagles to play the final game of the regular season. On his first shot on goal in his NHL debut, he scored his first goal. He played his rookie season the next year with the Flames and earned 64 points in 80 games. He was named a finalist for the Calder Memorial Trophy due to his impressive rookie season. Goudreau has become one of the best players in the entire league. In the 2018-2019 season, he set new personal bests with 36 goals, 63 assists, and 99 points. He is still an elite talent in the NHL despite regressing to 58 points in the 2019-2020 season and 49 points in the 2020-21 season. 
Since debuting at the end of the 23-2014 season, he has never finished with less than 18 goals and continues to be a threat every time he touches the ice. In what ended up being his ninth and final season with the Flames, Goudreau led the charge during their best regular season in years, finishing with a career-high 40 goals and 115 points. He then surprisingly signed an 8-year deal with the Columbus Blue Jackets worth $9.75 million a year in the offseason, and although the Blue Jackets did not make the postseason this year, Goudreau finished with 74 points in 80 games played. Thanks for watching our videos, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button.